Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Adipose and today I would like to talk to you about head tracking in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Okay, greetings ladies and gentlemen, and as I'm sure you're aware, in Euro Truck Simulator 2, by default, you tend to have one of your side mirrors appearing in the corner of your screen at all times like that. And in fact, by scrolling through F2 and various other ones, you can actually have both of your side mirrors there, or, e or even none. And whilst that's um, very cool, it makes seeing the road um, really simple, really easy, um, it's not particularly immersive, because the whole point of Euro Truck Simulator is that it simulates the as closer to a real experience as possible. So what what I've been playing with over the last few days is head tracking. Now there seem to be three ways or three bits of software that will do this for you. One of which is really expensive, one of which requires a bit of um, gluing and sticking and one of which is free, um, which is the one I'm going to show you today. Now obviously being the free option that I'm going to show you, it isn't the as accurate as some of the others. So as with most things in life, you, you do get what you pay for, but I think this works really well. If I just demonstrate here, I'm going to look to the right to see my right hand mirror, I'm going to look up to check my uh, my stereo and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to look down to see my non-existent legs, where are my legs? And I'm going to look um, left hand side to see my left hand mirror. I can even do kind of little actions um, such as kind of physically moving my whole head um, to the right to kind of shift over in, in the kind of seat as well. Now what I've done though is I've set mine up carefully so it isn't actually kind of one to one movement because uh, my big objection to head head tracking was the idea well if I if I look to the left like that then I'm not actually going to be looking at the screen anymore therefore um, how what does it matter what actually displays on it so what I've done is I've set up this head tracking so that a small movement on uh, of my head will actually translate to a big movement um, on the screen so there I've probably moved my head probably about maybe 10 degrees, 5 degrees, but the movement I'm actually getting out of it on the game is, is about 40 degrees. The other thing that I've done as well is that I've limited the amount I can turn. So although I can, although the game will let you turn completely round hard onto the the right hand side there and look back um, out the window of your truck, um, I've actually turned that off because I found it more reliable um, to only kind of have the small turns to kind of the uh, to the left and right. So the idea is essentially is kind of like while I am driving around um, I'm able to use these kind of uh, these rear view mirrors just like um, a, a real truck driver would using a combination of all the mirrors in the truck and of course the, the, the front windshield as well and, and as you would see a normal truck driver doing I'm constantly having to move my head to look in different positions um, to actually see um, what is um, going on. So if I can just break down the, the three different programs um, very very quickly, and then I'll get into installation. I'll show you how I'll show you how it works. Um, the big expensive one is called Track IR. That will require you um, at least 100 quid or 100 dollars, um, probably more, depending on which version you get. Very very accurate, very very popular, um, and well respected amongst um, the kind of Euro Truck Simulator users and and, and indeed other games as well. Because obviously this software works in any kind of game where you've got like a kind of cockpit, be it a plane, be it a car, a tank, um, or, or indeed a, a, a truck. But Track IR is the expensive and the best. Then coming down from that you've then got a program called Free Track and that um, is also very reliable, works very very well, very popular um, but you will need some kind of um, LED um, light source. That might mean that you um, buy some of the track IR lighting um, to kind of stick to yourself. It might mean that you um, just kind of buy some LEDs and somehow kind of attach them to your headset or something like that. But it's going to require a bit of um, uh, a bit of kind of DIY perhaps on your part or, or a little bit of an expense. But again, because it's then just monitoring those three IDs, it is very reliable. It works very, very well. But the one I would like to show you today is called Face Track. Um, I noir, sorry, face track noir, as in um, the French word for kind of um, dark or black. And uh, this one is um, completely free, does not require any additional software other than a webcam. Um, I think it works very, very well, but of course, as it is actually based on your face, there is the chance of it um, going wrong. Um, but I'll be talking to you a little bit about um, how you can kind of minimize um, or, or make it as accurate as um, possible. Hopefully, just by driving around, though, you can see here just. Um, how 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 kind of immersive it is kind 
of this constant looking left and right, looking out, even just even just kind of looking back across the windshield there to kind of look to you know see what's coming up on my left rather than on the right. Um, it it really has um, immersed me even further um, in the kind of truck driving experience. So how do we actually install Face Track Noir? Okay, so um, to install Facetrack Noir, obviously you'll need to come to the uh, Facetrack Noir website, and the website you're looking for is facetracknoir.sourceforge.net, um, uh, and of course you can get to um, you can get to that by just typing Facetrack Noir into into some sort of Google, um, and it will then be your your first um, link back. You can read all about it then. You can find out how it works and who made it, and of course these lovely people here have provided their time and expertise for free. There is a donate button if you find this is something that you um, use a lot and then head over to the uh, the download section and you can then get um, the various installations as of the 2nd of November 2013 um, 1.70 is the the current version and if you haven't got it before um, click the full installer and in fact even if you have had it before some people have said um, you'll get a better response if you uninstall it completely um, and then put it in there but that, that's in, that's entirely up to you so you'll click that um, you, it'll then uh, take you to a one of these kind of download things it will be one of those ones where the download will start in a, in a few seconds and then uh, you'll get an option to kind of save the exe file save it to your computer install in the normal way now I did find a slight bug in that it asks you if you want to if you if it wants you to, to install to your menu um, but I didn't find it actually kind of came up straight away. I actually had to then go hunting for it. Um, if I go to my desktop, I had to go hunting for it on my desktop, and it had installed um, down there. So um, if you don't find it here, um, have a look on your desktop, and you should find it. And when you do, um, you will see um, this, um, which is the Face Track Noir. Um, uh, kind of yeah, graphical interface. Now there's loads of cool little features here um, and loads of little different settings so basically you can really can customize this um, as much as you want but there's a few things that you need to be uh, make sure are working first. First of all at the top here you should see your webcam. Run your plug in your webcam and stuff before um, you run Face Track Noir and you should see it here so mine's the Logitech HD Pro Webcam 6920. Now I initially had a problem in that I actually had a, um, another piece of webcam software installed called ManyCam and that was actually appearing in that in its place and there, there's no kind of webcam selector here so if you have an issue with that you may need to uninstall um, a different that, that particular driver um, because it, it basically uses the first kind of webcam uh, it comes across and uh, that was a, that was a small problem I had there with um, the ManyCam driver but so basically you need your webcam um, to appear there now when you initially run it it won't have Euro Truck Simulator there it won't have any kind of game in in fact, um, Euro Truck Simulator actually just picked this up automatically. I didn't have to actually adjust any settings inside the game. It just picked it up. Um, if it doesn't just pick it up, then you'll need to go into the forums and have a little chat and an ask there. Um, but once it has picked it up, you should then find Euro Truck Simulator appears there. Now, you've got all these various um, options here, um, and I suggest you set it up um, the same as mine and then work from there. So if I go from the left-hand side, um, save it as a profile, um, to call, maybe call it Euro Truck Simulator 2 and then your name or something, you can go save as and call it something there. Uh, in this tracker source you want Face API. Um, of course if you are watching this video at some point in the future um, the, the in quotes best options may well have changed so I would have a look around on a forum um, but as of 2nd of November Face Track API here, Excelia Filter um, MK2 here and free track 2.0 um, over here. So this does actually use some of the software um, from one, one of the other options that I mentioned earlier. You don't need to worry about any of the other bits and bobs here um, for now. And then once you're ready, you can just press start and then you will hopefully see um, your beautiful face appearing right there. Now depending on your webcam of course that may throw up some kind of um, controller device as well and just like what I've done here is you want to get your face reasonably large and reasonably central and you'll know if it's worked because firstly you'll get a picture here and secondly you'll see this lovely little yellow design that has appeared on my face and you'll notice as I now move my head that yellow kind of ring does not leave my face that means it's picked up my face properly and is now tracking it and if you look at um, just below here where it says raw input that's what it's kind of saying to my face so if you look on X here it's it can see here that as my X goes positive X goes negative I'm turning my face as I look up 
and as I look down, we've got the Y, and then you've got various kind of different rotations as well. You know, it's quite a clever, it's quite a quite clever little gizmo. Now, what can you do to improve the chances of it picking you up? Well, first of all, like I've done here, zoom in a reasonable amount. I've got my face, uh, my my camera controller here. I can uh, move it up. I can move it down. Don't zoom in too far because if you move like that, you don't want to go out of camera shot. Um, you want to be able to kind of you know find out, think about how you move while you game, bobbing around, all that kind of stuff, and make sure you're staying in there um, all the time. But then you do want to zoom in. Secondly, and this is perhaps most importantly, lighting. You want to have your face well lit um, on all sides so it can actually find um, the features on your face. Now my webcam has this really useful sometimes feature called right light and if I click that the webcam will constantly kind of update um, the, the webcam settings like gain and stuff to try and make sure the, the face is kind of well lit but I actually found that doesn't work very well with face track noir because it actually means that my face is actually changing I found that get to the best way of getting the best results is to turn the light on above my head um, so I've got a consistent kind of light coming on my face um, and then just to kind of get it to pick you up, get it to kind of pick you up like that. I did then. I adjusted the gain and the exposure manually on on my on my webcam. If I could probably show you in here, um, if I go in there, you can see I've adjusted the gain and exposure manually, and all that the auto keeps turning on, but it it, it is there manually, and I've uh, made sure that my face is kind of showing up well. Now that's really going to help Face Track Noir keep a good track of your face. All right. Now the other thing that you can do is that there's lots of little kind of customizable um, settings here like smoothing and things like that um, and there's a few things we want to do here. Now my settings are based off um, the settings of a lovely person over here called Mamza. Um, this is a guy on the uh, SES software forums. SES software is the other guy that make um, Euro uh, Truck Simulator and he was nice enough to share his settings with uh, people here and I'll put the link to um, his um, his zip file, or I'll put a link to this forum page and then you can grab his zip file here. So thank you, massive thank you to him. Um, but I have then adjusted my settings further. And what the, where I have adjusted them further is in this button here called Curves. And if you click Curves, this little window pops up. And what this does is it tells the computer how far to move the, uh, basically your face in game, so how far to turn in the truck, um, compared to how far you're actually moving your face in real life. And actually you can see there, if you look on um, your here, you can see as I turn my face, there's that, that little red ball is going up and down there. Now the columns are, so the column here is the output, so that's how far will it turn in the game, versus the input, which is how far you're actually turning your head. And I've put a curve here, which means that as I start to turn, it's going to actually move quite a lot very quickly, but as I continue to turn, it's then going to, it's smoothing off. And I've actually brought this bar all the way down here, which means I cannot turn beyond, what is this, 50 degrees here. That, do you remember when in game I, I, I showed you that, um, which if I, if I turn, I, I, it, it turns so far I lost my face there. Um, I've, I've made it so it cannot turn past there. Now that was because I found that when I got to about that point, it would start juddering. In fact, you can see it. If I just stop talking for a second, you can see there's a slight judder, a little bit of a twitch. Like it, it seems to find it slightly harder to read me on the sides as it does kind of straight on. Um, so the reason I've got that curve leveling off, it means that once I turn to the side, whether I kind of move a little bit or jud a little bit, it cut the cam, the the truck in the game will stay roughly the same. Now the disadvantage of this means that I, means I can't turn kind of all the way around in the truck window like like you saw, but I'm, I don't really miss that. So that, that's not too much of a problem. In fact, I can just use an external view um, if I really really want to get that kind of a, that kind of a view. So that's how I've done that's how I've done mine to get quite a reliable effect. So those little turns will take me to basically that's looking in my left hand mirror, and that's looking into my right hand whoops, as it loses my face there, and that's looking into my right hand mirror. But this is the other reason why I brought it down is because the face track noir does lose your face, but it doesn't seem to lose it if if I'm looking straight at the camera and I'm not moving all that much it doesn't lose my face but the more I turn the more likely I have found that it is to do that and then lose my face so I have made it so that it's gonna just read my face just doing tiny little movements like that from left to right from left to right and then I'm getting a pretty consistent output from it just by just by work, working on my face moving um, a maximum of about 20 25 degrees um, and then using that to um, to get an interpretation in the game um, you don't need the roll because obviously truckers don't tend to be do, doing that kind of stuff so that's just been pulled all the way down pitch up and pitch down um, are as follows just with a kind of kind of like a little bit uh, it's just picking up a little bit because but again that's not a particular part of um, of the game we've also got translations um, but we don't 
don't need to worry about those um, for what we are doing. Now, here is an option you do want to think about, which is smoothing. Basically, the higher the smoothing, um, the more kind of the more your head will kind of glide around um, in the truck. However, the slower it will move, or the delay will be responsible. So you'll do that, and then the truck will move, and then you'll do that, and then the truck will move. But if you have smoothing low, it's going to jerk but it's gonna do it closer to you in real time. Now, here's the thing, when you're trucking, you don't wanna take your eyes off the road. You've gotta be seeing what's going on, and if you wanna look in that left-hand mirror, you need to look, see it, and then move back. So I've put my smoothing almost on zero. I've put it on two, and in fact, I might well put it back down to zero because I wanna be able to look, see what's in that left hand, and get back before I crash through the hard shoulder off the motorway. Whereas if I have it on high smoothing, whilst it will actually feel nicer looking around, it's gonna be slow, so I'm gonna do that then it's going to move, then I'm going to be able to see out there, then I'm going to look back, then it's going to move back, and at that point I've probably crashed through three other vehicles. Um, so that's why I've got my smoothing really slow. But if you do find it's juddering a lot, you might want to consider putting that smoothing up. I'm, I'm inverted pitch and I've inverted X, um, which was part of um, Mamza's uh, profile that I downloaded there. Um, and that's, that's all I'm using. That is all I'm using. And if I now go back into game, you'll see what the results are. And hopefully, when you come back in game, you will find that it is responding to your head movements as you turn um, your head. Don't turn too far, don't turn too quickly, um, and you should get a reasonably consistent response. A um, couple of more tips before I go. First of all, supposing you're looking directly at your computer screen, but the truck is not looking directly um, forward. So supposing, for example, I was getting that view. I'm looking directly at it, but it's not looking directly forward. All you do is you alt tab out, and then on the um, face track noir, press stop. So then your 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 little picture will disappear um, from the software. Um, then look directly at your computer screen um, in the position which you would want to be is like your default position, and then press start, and that will kind of recalibrate you um, in in that kind of position. That should help. Sometimes it can just go completely wrong, and uh, you, you, you've got two options there. You can either kind of reboot um, Euro Truck Simulator, um, but a slightly easier way that I found is if you just tab out, press stop, tab back into the game, and then you should find you can use the mouse as your um, uh, your kind of free look. Reset the mouse to be going straight forward, um, so you're looking straight forward, then tab out again, and then press start on Face Track Noir, and then that should have sorted it out. Um, it is a bit of a hassle, but when it does work, and it does work most of the time, I think this is a lovely ad immersive addition to the game by where, by where uh, you can look around your cockpit as if you were actually there um, enjoying um, the trucking experience into the night. Um, if you found this useful, and I do hope you have, then please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe um, to the channel. Um, and uh, for all kind of Euro Truck games and Let's Plays on lots of different things and loads of other tutorials. And um, do head over to my Twitch TV live stream as well because I do sometimes uh, stream uh, Euro Truck Driver uh, Simulator 2. And it would be nice to interact with you guys um, in that setting. So um, I will try and shake my head and say goodbye to you. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.